Uganda's circular economy, long seen as a preserve of West reclaimers, is now giving rise to new business opportunities. But we see the big picture. That if you separate organic waste, we are an agriculture nation. Already your fertilizer bill comes down, right? Because you're separating. And, and this, and also the education, teaching people how to do this. That you, your own organic, if you have a garden at home, you dig a pit, your own organic waste can go into that pit and create manure for yourself. That's already one part. We're now saying plastic, which is a little more mechanized, has a home for it. There are also others that are doing paper. So there are different areas where we can touch. Uganda Manufacturers Association Chairperson Barbara Mrana says reintroducing secondary resources such as plastic and fiber could go a long way to strengthen the manufacturing sector. We can make clothes and we can make sports gear from our plastic waste. I think it was mentioned that what can we do? The, the, the fleeces that we wear actually do come from plastic waste and I think um, Simon is going to talk a little bit about that. The nets that we put in our lake can be changed into carpets to then go to but what we say is that this trash is actually a treasure. Consequently, the increase in economic and industrial activities in cities across the country calls for increased investments in local and urban solid management infrastructure. 75 to 80 percent of our plastic waste collectors are women. Women who previously did not have a job. This gives them employment. And part of what we want to do is to increase how dignified it is for them to do this business. And so a lot of what we are going to be discussing as we run this collaboration is how to ensure that it is decent, sustainable in the long term. According to the World Bank, effective waste management is costly, often comprising 20 to 50 percent of municipal budgets.